zippity doo -dah. Beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Now, as you can see behind me, I'm hanging out here at Miami Beach, Florida. Now, again, Denim Bradstreet says that 90% of business failure is due to businesses not advertising. So obviously, we need to do, we need to, uh, you know, get out there and go ahead and doing some advertising. But in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, a, a simple little website. It's a free website, and there was a, a, some research that was done on this website. It was a Boston Consulting Group, and they found out that when businesses use this particular website, uh, when they use the free version of it, it adds about $8,000 in revenue to their business. Now, again, just like so many of these websites, you got YouTube, you got Facebook, you got Google, and they're free, but they also have some upgraded features. So when you utilize the upgraded features from this website, this Boston Consulting Group found out that it would generate you about $23,000 in revenue on, on average. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you to my computer, I'm going to show you a couple slides, and uh, that way I can show you how this works. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here today is we're going to look at Yelp and uh, different type of websites that do what Yelp does. And you may have heard of places like Angie's List and, uh, you know, places like, like that as an example. Um, you know, Google has their version of it. Yahoo has their version. There's a number of them out there. Um, and what these websites are, if you're new to all of this, these are review websites. So what a client will do is they'll come to a website like Yelp and they'll be able to see different comments and, and uh, you know, reviews that people have made about some of these different businesses. They'll give them one stars, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars, you know, give them some sort of a, a, a grading, a ranking on that. Um, that's going to help you. Um, I'm not really big on these review sites. Um, I, I like the reviews. The reviews are awesome. Um, it builds credibility. That part I like about it. What I don't really like about it is that it's a directory. It's basically like the modern equivalent of the yellow pages. And why websites like that or uh, directories aren't really so good is because they don't really give you anything to sell yourself with what makes you stand out and the be different than your competitors and they don't really allow you too much um, you know the tools to say too much about your business and to show to really show and then demonstrate how and what gets you to stand out beyond your competitors so that's one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of websites like Yelp and Angie's List and you know places like that because it doesn't allow you again to stand out now what I do like about it is the reviews so once you've collected a lead then it's really nice to send a person people to Yelp and show them hey this is what other people have said about us that's public relations that's how to use Yelp but what we're going to do here in this video is we're going to compare Yelp and companies like what Yelp does and compare them to uh, some of these other advertising avenues, uh, Google and places like that. So let's start off with the free advertising. Now free advertising on Google, um, you might be listed on Google, but if you're on page two, you ain't got any money. Nobody's going to find you. Um, of course, they have some free stuff. Uh, that you can utilize but that takes skill to to make money off of Google from the free stuff really the only way to make money on Google is by paying them for advertising so um, but let's look at Yelp now let's so let's go ahead and switch to the next slide and so Yelp has a free listing and there was some research done by this Boston consulting group and they found out that the average business on Yelp yielded an additional $8,000 in revenue. So if you go to Yelp, it's yelp.com, Y-E-L-P.com, sign, sign up as a business, um, you're going to generate on average about an, an additional $8,000 in revenue. Now because of the 80-20 rule and some other things that we're going to talk about later in additional videos, you know, that, that average might not be your average meaning that that's the average, $8,000 is, is the average, but there might be some of you that will make a whole lot more than that. Others of you might make a little bit more, but when you take all the business out there and combine them together, 
you're making $8,000 a year in additional revenue. So you are gonna make more from it just by having the Yelp listing. Now, there's also a paid advertising section of this as well. Um, we're not gonna talk about that as of right now. We're gonna talk about that here in the next few minutes. But the way that this works is you go to Yelp and you make uh, little suggestions and you talk about your experiences with the companies and you wanna encourage your current customers to express and, and, and fill out your Yelp page and give, you know, give them, give, give uh, Yelp their feedback about your company. So when people start doing research on, on you and then when you wanna send some of this stuff out to your potential clients, that's gonna really help them to make a buying decision to do business with you. Now, what they have found out uh, as you can see here, you got five stars. So for every star that you have, um, it's going to, or uh, an increase in stars, it's going to increase your earning revenue about five to nine percent is what they found out. You know, I hope you don't have one star. At least you should have like three, three and a half, four stars. Um, that's a that's a good business. I got five stars right now, um, but that's right now. I might get other customers that aren't quite as happy with me and you know hey you know but anywhere from about a four to five star is really good uh, three and a half there's kind of getting to be a, a little problem there so maintain a, a four to five stars you're doing a really 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 good job you know and sometimes there's just people who will complain about you just to complain about you just for no reason at all um, so that's why I say that maybe somebody might not like me and somebody might not like you they just uh, maybe you did a good job but you just did something that ticked them off they might write a bad review on it but that's only one person you have an overwhelming amount of people who are writing reviews that one guy isn't going to impact you but still people are going to go to these sites um, to, to do research on you okay now one of the things that you can do on these websites um, to get yourself to stand out and to be different is to collect the leads um, that's what that's not what most people are doing most people are just advertising their listings getting people to to look at their their yelp listings and it just says here's what i do here's how long i've been in business there's nothing to really set you apart and the, and the stand out be different so what we suggest you to use is to use a smart our term of it is a smart website because a lot of you are familiar with what a smartphone is. You might have a website, but you might not have a website that is designed to make you money. A lot of the websites that a lot of the small businesses that we speak with use it, it is all that it does is it just, again, lets people know what they do. It's a postcard. The Using a smart website, a landing page, a squeeze page, is specifically designed to generate a lead and that way that you can demonstrate to them what makes you different and what makes you stand out now it's also going to help you to sell more um, we've talked about this in some of our previous videos and we'll talk about this more as we continue we're not really going to spend too much time with that as well um, you could also put a picture on there where you could go ahead and collect uh, your mo a mobile subscriber as well so we want to collect emails we want to collect mobile subscribers um, you've already received videos on this already, why that is so important. Now let's look at the paid advertising revenue on Yelp. So again, if you have a free listing on Yelp, it's gonna, uh, you're gonna generate an additional, on average, about $8,000 a year in, in revenue. But if you spend money on advertising, use their advertising services, the research shows that you're gonna make an additional make a total of about $23,000 if you advertise on them. Well, the prices on average, what we've been seeing is anywhere from about $367 to $600 per thousand impressions. Um, that is very, very expensive for the impressions. But what the, one of the things that is different about Yelp is these people are doing the research. They're, re, they're not quite ready to buy in certain cases, but they're at least checking you out, looking for who that they're, they're doing. They're doing their due diligence at this point. So you're going to get a higher quality of person. This is also why you want to use the smart websites and capture the leads and, and do some of that stuff if they're using this this website um, 
so that you can build that relationship. You can demonstrate to them what makes you different, what makes you stand out. But that thousand dollars per impression it, or uh, three to six hundred dollars per thousand impressions is very, very expensive. But again, the that type of advertising is of a higher quality. Now, when we compare this to Here's, here's a, a business that we were tracking. Now it's kind of small, it's kind of small to see. I found this online. You can do some research on yourself on, on, uh, on Google versus Yelp. But this is what I found found here. The blue areas is their, their free listings and the yellow is, the, is once they started doing using the paid advertising. They're not really getting any that much benefit. Yeah, as you can see there throughout the years, they started uh, losing, um, you know, some of the results. They weren't doing as well from the free advertising, but then when they started paying for it, they're not really doing that much better as compared to what they were doing when they were using the free stuff. So, um, you know, that's just some, some things to keep in mind as well. Now, like I said, um, Yelp is a, a little bit expensive, but what, what we have found out here as well is that the average business is spending about $4,200 a year on, on Yelp, but that's only about 3% of their advertising budget. Um, what a lot of these small businesses are still doing is they're still utilizing some of the offline print advertising methods, the yellow pages, newspapers, and not that that's not a good valuable source. I'm a, I'm a big advocate of using offline advertising as well, but you got to do the right things at the right times. You know, Tony Robbins, uh, he has one of my favorite, <laughs> my clients laugh at me all the time because they're like, you say that all the time because you can do the right thing at the wrong time. To advertising the yellow pages in, in today's modern society, um, it's not that it's a bad idea depending on who your clients are, but you just can't track and it. it doesn't give you the same value as using some of these other advertising resources. So what we suggest is to generate the leads offline and then from there use direct mail and print advertising and that's how you get the, those higher conversion rates. You know, utilize both online and offline but it's much easier and cheaper to generate a lead in the online world than it is the offline world, especially when we consider the prices. Now, again, what, what they found out as compared to, you know, by using, um, you know, Yelp the, and versus some of these other things, they have a higher uh, return on investment when they use some of these other advertising venues. So um, take for instance, as we showed you just a few minutes ago, it's going to cost you anywhere from about $3,300 to uh, $6, $600 for a thousand impressions on Yelp, where we can do $500 to a thousand impressions on Facebook for five bucks. $300, five bucks. What do you want? <laughs> you know, five bucks sounds much nicer for, for us. Um, yeah, we're not going to get as high of results, but we're going to, but we are going to have a, a higher return on investment. Now we got YouTube. Um, YouTube is what they have a new product out, and right now because it's a new product, um, it's very cheap and very inexpensive. And we're seeing uh, you, so you can run a YouTube commercial from about six cents to about 17 cents per view. And even some of those, you can still generate leads without even have to pay for the advertising. Uh, they'll still advertise you. And I'm not talking about the free stuff. It's just that they're, they didn't watch the commercial long enough for you to be, have to pay for it. And then there's Google. Now, Google's been around for a while and it depends on which, which, uh, which, industry that you're in if you're in like some of the financial markets we're finding that you know it might cost you between about fifty dollars to a hundred dollars just to get one person to your website so that's very expensive but again if we are utilizing the facebook's and the youtube's and some of these other things um it's going to save us a lot it won't be as as quite as expensive so the takeaway from this video is go ahead and claim your free uh, Yelp listing. That's where you're going to make the benefits from it. You want to get people to review it and then you're going to email those listings to your leads so you can see what type of results that, that or what, you know, so, so you can share with your leads and your potential customers um, what people have experienced with you. 
um, even I, I, I do this. I get some of my clients to review what, what they've experienced with us. Uh, that's why I got five stars right now. And then I'll email that off to some of my potential clients or people who are looking at, at what it is that, that we're doing here. And, um, but Yelp is, is, is a great place to advertise. It's just that if we advertise in some of these different advertising venues, we're gonna get a higher return on investments. Now, I hope this information was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some value out of it. I had a blast filming this video for you here today. But take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Now, if you'd like some help putting this into action and like to see how to double your income from your current customer base and see how a local business did this and made $138,460 in only four days by doing this, just click on the link on the side of this video or if you you can also click on where it says click here or you can visit prostarprofits.com forward slash mission possible dot html and if you'd like more tips like this just click on the little subscribe button and you can subscribe to our youtube channel one more thing stay healthy have a great day we'll see you next time bye bye